Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Epic Online Services error, that is error code EOS error not updated, or if you're receiving EOS error 1602 or EOS error 1603. So if you're receiving one of these error messages, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to install .NET Framework 3.5. So when you receive the error message, if you see this prompt to, to install .NET Framework 3.5, then install it. You can even go to Windows, type in Windows feature on or off over here, and then click on. Now type in Windows feature and here click on turn Windows feature on or off. And over here, here you can see Net, .NET Framework 3.5. So you can put a check over here and then click on OK and install it. Now, after the installation, restart your computer and then check. Still, you're receiving the error message. Next step is to run Epic Games Launcher as an administrator. So type in Epic Games Launcher in Windows search box. Make a right click on Epic Games Launcher and then click on Run as Administrator. Make sure that you open this as an administrator and then check. Still, you're receiving the error message, then update Windows to the latest version. Now, for this, open Windows settings, go to Windows Update or Update and Security, and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer. And after the system restart, check. Now, still, you're receiving the error message. Then, grant write and read access to Epic Games Launcher. Now, for this, type in Epic Games Launcher in Windows search box. Make a right click on Epic Games Launcher and then click on open file location and over here make a right click on epic games launcher select properties and then go to the security tab and then click on advanced option over here and over here you can see owner system over here you can see change option click on change now over here type in everyone and then click on check names click on ok and then apply ok ok and then if you see this edit option over here, put a check on full control over here and then click on apply, click on OK, OK. Again, make a right click and then select properties and then again go to the security tab and then click on advance. And over here you can see the add option, click on add and then uh, click on select a principal. Now again over here type in everyone, click on check names and then click on OK. Put a check on full control over here. Click on OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now you can check. Next step is to download Epic Online Services from Epic website and then extract it to this location. Now for this, type in in Google search. You can type in download. SDK Epic Online Services and then go to Epic website. Scroll down over here, you can see SDK type and select CSDK and then click on download. Now, once the download is complete, you have to run this, you have to extract this file to this location. So open File Explorer and then go to the Downloads folder. Now over here you can see this zip file. Make a right click and then click on Extract All. And then over here click on Browse. Do not click on Extract now. Go to Browse. And then go to this PC. Open C drive. Now open Program Files x86. Now find Epic, Epic Games folder. Here you can see Epic Games. Open Epic Games folder. Now open the Launcher folder. And then open portal folder and then open extras folders and then open EOS folder and then over here select folder now click on select folder and now click on extract so once you select this location now click on extract and let the extract complete so this may take few seconds or maybe a couple of minutes so let the process complete now once the process is complete you can go to file explorer once again open c drive program files x86 and then epics folder and then launcher portal 
extras us now over here you will see epic online services msi file so make a right click and then click on and just make a double click run this file so you have to make a double click and let the process complete now once this is done now you can open epic games launcher and then check now still you are facing the problem in that case do the same thing but this time download this c hash sdk file now for this again go to the same website now over here this time select c hash sdk and click on download and follow the same process now once the download is complete go to downloads folder so this is the right one which says us sdk c sharp so make a right click and then click on extract all and again click on browse and then this pc c drive program file 686 and then epic games launcher portal extras eos and then click on select folder and then click on extract so you have to repeat the same process again this process will take some time if you see replace option just click on replace if you don't see it no problem now once done you have to go to this location this time so open file explorer this pc c drive program file 686 and then epix folder epic games folder launcher portal extras eos and then sdk and then tools and over here also you should file the epic online service installer file so you have to run this file so make a double click So even if nothing happens, uh, when you make a double click, if nothing happens, just restart the computer and then you can try it once again. If still facing problem, then just ignore it. Just make a double click and now you can try to open Epic Games Launcher and then check. Now this time when you try to open Epic Games Launcher, if it is not opening in that case, uh, you can make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager. And if you find Epic Games Launcher in the list, make a right click, then click on end task. Now if you find, scroll down, if you find any other, any services which is related to Epic, if you see any Epic services running, just make a right click and end the process and then open Epic Games Launcher once again. And that should fix the problem but still you're facing the problem in that case you can uninstall and reinstall epic games launcher to your c drive sometimes uh, it is installed to another drive then you face this problem so you can uh, simply uninstall epic games launcher you can make a right click then click on uninstall now after the uninstall restart your computer and then make sure that you re uh, re reinstall the epic games launcher to your c drive now if nothing is working in that case you can reset your computer now before you reset now now before you perform reset let me inform you that you may lose all you may lose all the data and application on this computer so before reset make sure that you create a backup so just create a backup and then go for reset to perform a factory reset go to the settings and then go to windows update or update in security in windows 10 and then go to advanced option in windows 10 simply uh, when you go to advanced option you will see reset option so over here click on advanced option and then go to 
recovery and you over here you will see reset pc option click on reset and here you can see two option one is keep my files which will remove application and settings but it will keep your personal files remove everything will remove all your personal files application and settings so select the option which you want so i'll select keep my files and then go for local reinstall so over here you can see local reinstall click on it and then perform factory reset and after this reset you have to set up your computer once again and then you have to reinstall epic games launcher so you can go to epic games website and reinstall epic games launcher and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of these error uh, with epic online services on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel